Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ravi Singh and I'm going to help you understand great engineering concepts around us. For that, you just need to hit the subscribe button down below. This video is made for the purpose of answering a very important concept in thermodynamics and that is when can we treat water vapor as an ideal gas. So first of all, let us see what is an ideal gas. So an ideal gas is an imaginary substance which follows a very simple relation that many of us already know and that is PV is equal to RT where this P is pressure this V is specific volume this R is actually characteristic gas constant this is not universal gas constant this is characteristic gas constant which can be written as universal gas constant upon mass molecular mass of that imaginary substance and this T is obviously temperature that we all know so that is an ideal gas now the PVT behavior of real gases actually what is the significance of this ideal gas if this is an imaginary substance the significance is that the PVT behavior of real gases basically follows that of PVT behavior of ideal gases at lower densities that is when the molecules of real gases are farther apart so the density is lower and then the PVT behavior of this real gases closely approximates that of ideal gases and that's why we are studying about ideal gases and when are we going to achieve this lower density of real gases at high temperature and low pressure so when the pressure of say some gas some real gas is very low and when the temperature is very high then that gas will be at lower density and then the PVT behavior of this real gases closely approximates that of ideal gases and then we can fit those relations in this PV is equal to RT equation and that's why we are studying the ideal gases but what constitutes this high pressure this low pressure and high temperature because the question arises that how much high temperature or how much low pressure so let us see what is this meaning of this high temperature and low pressure the pressure and temperature is of a substance of a gas is high or low relative to its critical point temperature and pressure suppose this is temperature in specific volume diagram of some gas so the critical point is here so there is some pressure at this point say P1 and temperature say this T1 so this is basically high pressure and this is basically also the high temperature T1 is high temperature so if I am considering any gas so first we will see the critical point of that that gas that is critical point pressure and critical point temperature and that critical point pressure and temperature is higher at this critical point so relative to this we are telling that the pressure is high and the temperature is high or the pressure is low and the temperature is low if the pressure is say here that is lower than this sufficiently lower than this uh, critical point pressure then we will say that the pressure is lower and if the temperature is here at critical point or higher than this critical point then we can say that the temperature is higher so that is the meaning of high pressure or high temperature also at high pressure say particularly at high pressure the gas must be away from the saturation region this is the saturation region so the gas must be away from the saturation region region in order to consider that gas as an ideal gas at 
lower pressure it is fine that if the gases are here nearer to the saturation region then we can consider it as an ideal gas but at high pressure the gas must be away from the saturation region for it to be considered as an ideal gas so this also this is also a notable point now i already defined the term critical point this in one of my previous video but let us revisit that critical point once again the critical point is defined as end point of a phase equilibrium curve as shown here this is a phase equilibrium curve and this is the end point of it so this point is the critical point at this point and above this point liquid and its vapor coexist together it means that there is nothing like liquid and nothing like vapor these two phases liquid and vapor are coexisting here and we can't distinguish between the liquid and the vapor phase at and above this point that is only one phase exists at and above this point and that phase is known as the supercritical fluid and there is another way of defining this critical point and that is the critical point of a substance is the point at and above which vapor of the substance cannot be liquefied means we can't again convert the vapor phase into the liquid phase at and above this point because of so much high temperature because due to this uh, high temperature what happens basically is that molecules are farther apart and because of this no matter how much pressure you are going to apply to these molecules these are never going to come to their liquid state because of so much high kinetic energy of these molecules due to so much high temperature so these are the two way two ways of defining the critical point now let us take an example and see that how our intuition fails for considering whether the temperature is high or low and how the critical point plays a role in deciding that whether we can consider some gas as ideal gas or not so for that let us say a temperature of minus 100 degrees celsius is it lower temperature or higher temperature most of us will say that this is a lower temperature and obviously this is a lower temperature because most of the substance at this temperature exists in the solid phase which we see in our real life but just consider the air which is mostly nitrogen for nitrogen for air is the temperature minus 100 degrees celsius lower or higher let us see suppose this is the tv diagram of air and this is the critical point of air so with respect to critical point only as i said we can decide that the temperature is higher or lower and the critical point for nitrogen is minus 147 degrees celsius and with respect to this one minus 147 degrees celsius this minus 100 degrees celsius is a greater temperature is a higher temperature and that's why for air this is a higher temperature but not lower temperature as this is for most of the substances and since this is minus 100 degrees celsius is very much higher for air which is mainly nitrogen that's why we are at 100 to minus 100 degrees celsius we are very much away from this critical point or the saturation region here and that's why we can comfortably assume at minus 100 degrees celsius air as an ideal gas now coming to water vapor just look at this t versus v that is temperature versus specific volume diagram of water it is clear from this figure that at low pressure which is below 10 kilopascal water vapor can be treated as an ideal gas with negligible error and that error is less than 0.1% but at high pressures especially in the vicinity of critical point and the saturated vapor line we cannot treat water vapor as an ideal gas and that's why in air conditioning applications we are treating water vapor as an ideal gas why because this water vapor pressure is very much low 
in case of air conditioning applications and that's why it is advisable to treat water vapor as an ideal gas with negligible amount of error but in case of steam power plants the water vapor is at very much high pressure and because of that we cannot treat water vapor as an ideal gas in case of steam power plant applications instead it is advisable to use property tables in which the properties such as temperature specific volume or entropy enthalpy these all are listed in the tabulated form which has been found out experimentally so that wherever we need any enthalpy or say entropy at a specific temperature or a specific volume or a specific pressure then we can easily see from that table what is the value of all these properties and that's how we are utilizing the property tables in case of steam power plants where we cannot assume water vapor is an ideal gas because of so much high pressure involved so this is all about this video thank you also for more exciting contents about science related stuffs in the form of news videos or articles don't forget to like our page science talk on facebook for which the link is given below